Okay, in this video, I'm going to back up a SQL Server database on an XP machine running SQL Server 2005, and then I'm going to restore that to another PC that's running SQL Server 2008 R2. A uh, quick look at the environment here. Uh, the Windows XP machine is running SQL Server 2005. Um, the, I have a Dell Blade server that's running SQL Server 2008 R2. And then I have the Windows 7 machine that I'm on now. Uh, that's running SQL Server Management Studio. And I'm connecting to my SQL Server 2008 R2 on my Blade server. OK, the steps involved here is I'm going to remote into the XP machine. I'm going to open SQL Server Management Studio 2005. I'm going to back up a Tutoring 12 database to a local folder there. Um, after that, I'm going to copy that uh, backup file to a folder on my Blade server, a shared folder. Uh, then I'm going to go back to my Windows mach uh, 7 machine here. I'm going to open SQL Server Management Studio, uh, connect to that SQL Server 2008 R2 instance that's running on the Blade server. And then I'll restore the database uh, from my backup folder to a database I'm going to call Learning Commons 12. And then finally, I'm going to connect my AccuSQL to that new Learning Commons 12 database. OK? So step one, I'm going to go ahead and remote into that XP machine. OK. And open SQL Server Management Studio. Log in as SA. OK, so here's a look at my databases. And I'll take this David 1201 tutoring. And I want to right click on that database. And I'm going to click back up. OK, so here, now I already have one. I'll remove that. But I'm going to go ahead and add a folder to back it up to, back up to disk. And then browse out to my folders. Now I have a folder here that I'm calling SQL backups, okay, and then I can add the name. So David David 12. Okay, so it's going to my CSQL backups David 12 folder. And I'll do OK. So I've now backed up the database. Okay, now what I want to do is go out to that CSQL temp folder, which is right here. There's my David 12 backup. And I want to copy that to a shared folder. This is on my Blade server, so I can ultimately get to it. So I'll just copy it here. So my, that's my uh, Blade server, the ENG server. Okay, so I'm done over here in XP. I'm going to go ahead and close my remote. And now I'm back on the Windows 7 machine, but I'm going to open SQL Server Management Studio. And as you can see, I'm connected to my Blade server here to a X SQL Express uh, version of SQL Server 2008. So I'll go ahead and connect to that. OK, so here's a list of my databases. But I'm going to right click now on database, and I'm going to do a restore database right here. OK, and I can call that whatever I want. And I'll call it Learning Commons 12. OK, and from device, which is a folder. And now I'm going to click Add. OK, now I have to go find that shared folder, which happens to be oh, an ENG for all. And then it's called SQL temp here. OK, now I don't see that BAK file, but I'm going to pick all files here. And there it is. Okay, so I didn't have a BAK extension on it. But this is the one, David 12. I'll do OK. And OK again. OK, now I'm going to click the restore checkbox here. And I've already got my database name. I'll do OK. So now it's restoring uh, that backup into this new uh, SQL Server 2008 instance on the Blade server. OK, so now it's successful. And here's my Learning Commons 12. And I can look. I've got all my tables and everything in there. OK, so I'm going to close SSMS now. 
And now on my same Windows 7 machine, I'm going to go out to the folder where AccuSQL 12 is. And I've got a little utility here that's called Set Data Path. So I could run that and set the database. But let's go ahead and open AccuSQL just so we can see the change. Now this says the learning commons. So I may have already set it to that. Let's take a look. If I go to database, database location. Uh, no, I'm pointing actually to a SQL Server or tutoring 1.12.03. But I'll just pick my list. And there's my learning commons 12. So I can test and save that. And now when I exit and re-enter AccuSQL 12, I'll now be connected to that learning commons 12 database. And remember, that was the one that was the David Tutoring database initially on that XP machine running SQL Server 2005. Okay. And I verify, indeed, that I am connected to that Learning Commons 12 database. Okay, and that's all there is to it. Okay, thank you.